everybody, I'm Coach Brian, Strength Coach here with CriticalBench.com, and right off the bat, I am not a rock climber. I would love to be, but in Florida, we don't have cliffs. We don't have nothing to climb on, maybe uh, monkey bars at the playground, but that's it. But I have climbed some mountains before, I've climbed some rocks, you know, I've done some scaling and things like that, and let me tell you what, it sucks when you don't have good grip strength. So in order for you to get some good grip strength, you have to train grip strength exercises specific towards climbing. So when you think about climbing, you don't have like this nice little bar to hang on to. You don't have like a huge ledge with like finger things and all that. You've got maybe like an inch of rock to hold on to. So a lot of the training should be taking that into consideration. Now the funny thing is when I was trying to make this video, I was thinking, this is what an old uh, rock climber told me. He said, go to a door frame and hold on to the door frame as long as you can. Because think about the top of a door frame, maybe a half inch to an inch tops. And if you're holding on to that, all that weight, all that tension is right on those fingertips. But the funny thing is, I couldn't find a single door frame that would support my weight. I would just rip the whole frame off, off the wall. So that might be an option for you. You can build your own little contraption. You can walk around your house or your office and see if there is a place where you can actually just hang on by your fingernails. If you don't have access to that, you can go to a pull-up bar, but make sure you're not gripping the whole bar like this. See right here? Fingertips. Yeah, that hurts. Okay, five seconds. That might be all you can get. If you want to get a little more daring, again, this is challenging. One hand, cliffhanger. Two, what was that, one second? Okay, I would fall off the cliff easily, no time, you know? So get some chalk too, because a lot of that has to do with moisture in your fingertips. But obviously you work up towards it. Grip strength doesn't just happen overnight. Now look, you can do different grips. You can throw your thumb on there. You can change the, which fingers are holding on. If that's too challenging for you, start with baby steps. Grab a tennis ball, squeeze. Look at that, see? Fingertips, fingertips only. Maybe even pinky. Do, two, do different types of fingers. Because rock climbing, you're never, you're never gonna know which finger is gonna do what and how many fingers are able to hold on. Sometimes it's not even your thumb. You can't even use your thumb. In that situation, then you would just kind of take your thumb out of the equation and push up like this, okay? Maybe it is just the thumb. I, I don't know. There's so many different scenarios you have to create. That's a good tool to use. Another tool, is plate, plate squeezes. See that right there? Squeezing the plate. There's no, uh, I'm not, the plates aren't touching my hands. Just squeezing with the fingertips. You can even take away a few fingers. Look at that. 10 pounds with between two fingers is not a lot. Again, your fingers might slip. Get some chalk, reset, wipe it off. That's a good, another good tool to use, another good training tip. So another one is, a low hang. You kind of get a, a kettlebell, a dumbbell, and you hold it in the fingertips. You can go for a nice little farmer's carry walk, a suitcase walk. Let's uh, see, I don't know if that's hard. See, I'm only holding on two fingers. I guarantee if you hold this for 30 seconds to a minute, your fingers are gonna start locking up. Think about rock climbing. You're not, it's an endurance sport. You're not just gonna scale walls as fast as you can. It's gonna take minutes, maybe even you know an hour or two to get up. So it's all about endurance. So you need to build muscular endurance in those muscles. I'm not telling you to hold on max effort for 30 seconds and then that's it for your training. But if you're really serious about rock climbing or any type of climbing movements where you, you need long-term um, strength, you gotta do all different angles, hold it for extended periods of time. So that's it. So hopefully with all these exercises you're gonna use uh, to further your, uh, your rock climbing career and hopefully just get some good grip strength established. Not only that, grip strength will translate over into better lifting, deadlifts, uh, any type of lower body movements, you know, um, even pull-ups and things like that where grip strength uh, really does come in, come in handy. Um, so there's something else I'd love to share with you. It's a report that we wrote. It's called the 10 best body weight exercises of all times. And body weight movements are good, especially if you want to be nimble and you also just want to get good total body strength if you don't have access to a gym. So check it out right here. Click this box, give us your email, and we'll send you this free report right now. Don't forget to subscribe to us by clicking here. Check out these videos here, and also make sure you click that notification bell to stay up to date with what we've got. I'm Coach Brian with CriticalBench.com. Thanks for watching, and we will see you soon.